Hello, welcome to another Becoming a Modern Man. We are playing our Elf Company get deck once again, and this time we are playing against a blue-red control deck. Um, it's a bit of an interesting brew from our opponent. Um, so, this is our opener. Looks fairly decent. One land is a little sketchy, but um, I think we can probably run with it. We've got a Mystic to make the mana up. Uh, we're also on the draw, um, otherwise this hand is fairly stacked, so uh, happy to keep this. Put these off with a Tarn into Ireland, into Serum Visions, it's fine, draw a forest which is nice. Um, I'm going to leave with as much mana as possible, um, then next time we can possibly Visionary Sentinel or drop an Arch Druid or an Azuri. Uh, given he's got Scalding Towns, I'm assuming he's running some sort of, he's probably running Bolts and etc, so I decided to just run off some out. Visionary draws a card, and then Mystic to play out the Metal Sentinel. Hunt fetches up Steam Vents, passes the Scalding Tarn, Serum Visions, passes the turn back. Run out Arch Druid. Um, could run out with Zuri instead to protect our guys, but um, either way, it's probably going to be the target, so I guess it doesn't make a great deal. This way, we get to attack for more damage, so. I think I like this play. Uh, good attack with all our guys. Watch when we eat a ball and then a snag hits our Nettle Sentinel, which is, uh, means we just get to attack for two this turn, which. I mean, it's not devastating, but it's not ideal, obviously. Uh, and we're out of Back with this uh, Visionary, keeping the Mystic back for regen mana. And then play Nettle Sentinel. Watch when I has a Snapcast. Getting new Zuri. We have another one in hand, so it's not too devastating. Also, we have a collected company, which is fairly nice. One place Thunderbreak Regent, which is one of the new cards from Dragons of Tarkir. Um, one that I've been thinking about experimenting with, but I just don't think it's good enough as a four drop. Um, it's decent. You're probably not going to get much more advantage out of it apart from that. If they target with a removal spell, it bolts them in the face. So, you don't know. Um, it's an interesting card, it's a fairly decent card, but I don't know whether it's really good enough for modern. I'm just going to collect this company on my own turn, see what we find. Um, we find a Elvish Arch Druid, and I'm going to drop the Scavenging Ooze in as well, as potentially for the large creature. I've already got a couple of guys in our yard, so can get pretty big. Send the rest back. It's going to pass the turn point attacking into a 4 4. But snags the Arch Druid and attacks for 4. Moving on to 14. Um, but I'm not too worried about the. Um, if we scavenge news, being able to uh, gain us a bit of life as well and become bigger than a 4 4 potentially soon. Um, so in a turn, I. Eight one of the creatures in my graveyard, put plus one plus one count on this. Scavenging news. I'm gonna play Arch Steward again, potentially setting up in Missouri soon. Put Romans. But that doesn't work thanks to uh Cavern of Souls, yeah, so uh I either didn't realise we used the cavern or just misunderstood that Romand is a counter not a return to hand spell. Um so that doesn't work, and we're able to attack him with these guys. Fun blocks the visionary, which just is more fodder for scavenging news, so I'm not too upset about that. And then I think our opponent just concedes there. Um, we are pretty far ahead. We can make a 5 5, or actually, we can make a 6 6 scavenging news, which is considerably better than what he can do. Uh, he's on our 8, and just generally pretty far ahead. Um, next turn, we'd probably be looking at dropping Azuri and then. Uh, using its overrun ability, and uh, then we would have been attacking for a large amount. So, yeah, our opponent probably wouldn't have been able to survive that. So, a fair concession, I feel. So, on to game two. Get rid of that. This is our opener. We've got Landmar Elves, Heritage Druid, Collected Company. Rains of Unvanquisher and an Elvish Arch Druid, so it looks very nice. Put these off with the Serum Visions again, like last game. It's going to lead off. 
we have a vent pusher and a heritage druid. Let's try and be aggressive early. Next set to steam vents and put the scalding palm. Cast the visionary. Draw a card. Let's do attack for three and leave collected company up. We could have cast Elvish Arch Druid, but I think that this plays around uh, things a little better. Well, there's a Thunderbreak Regent tapping out. Perfect for us is we're just going to play Collect Company, find a Zuri and a Metal Sentinel. Uh, just going to put the Mystic back in. And uh, our opponent is basically dead. Um, we can make 7 mana off Nykthos, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, So, this uses Uri's over an ability. Let's cast this member on the Thunderbreak Regent. Doesn't really matter though, he's uh, dead anyway. We've got four of this damage because I've got Trample. Um, and we're going to deal more than damage to him, so it didn't really matter. We didn't need to do that. Um, <coughs> but yeah, we could have done quite a lot of ridiculous things there. We could have um, cast an Arch Druid into Nyxos into. Ridiculous stuff as well, or Collected Company as well. Collected Company into a Nyxos activation. Um, but yeah, regardless, we basically just won there. So uh, that was one of our, possibly uh, one of our faster wins with the deck and uh, worked out pretty nicely. And Azuri uh, basically just wraps everything up nicely with its overrun ability. So that's how we want to function, really, as a deck.